Oeh, en er is het belang. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another video. It's a talk video, so it's gonna be long. So today we're gonna be talking about parent pet peeves and like, you know, things that happen in families that need to be stopped by like the younger generations or whatever. If you get in your feels, I'm very sorry. Some of the most of these things I have are things that I've experienced myself. Alright, so the first thing is they don't want to listen to your feelings. And it's not necessarily that they don't care, but it's just like they think that you're overreacting for some things or that because you're feeling a certain way you can't act it out like speak, i'm feeling this way so let me behave how i need to behave you know so long as it's not disrespectful but it's like i'm I'm literally coming to you i'm trying to express myself to you and you're gonna like tell me that i'm not feeling the way that i'm feeling even though i'm me and i would know how i'm feeling right they invalidate your mental health i've had this done to me a few times not just by parents but literally almost all family members that I've talked to about it with. And it's, they're all been adults too. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know why they think, and I think it's a big thing with black parents, black families. They just don't want to accept the fact that their kid might be suffering from a mental illness. And it's not like I'm crying out for attention and I just want you to pay attention to me. Like, why would I come to you saying I have anxiety and depression and whatever just to have attention? Like, if I wanted to do that, all I gotta do is come to you and be annoying until you finally snap and give me the attention that I'm looking for. But like, when it comes to mental health, nobody's gonna try and fake that. I mean, some some kids do, but it's like, I don't know, maybe it's like based on, based on character, but like for me, I don't usually express my feelings and like, you know, what's going on through my, in my head. So when I actually do, you might wanna take it seriously because that's I'm actually confiding in you to talk. So it's like, don't ignore the fact that I think I need to go get myself checked out because something's going on in my head that I can't control, you know? Like, it's, and mental health is very serious. It shouldn't be brushed off. You know, it's something that needs to be talked about more often, especially within uh, the black community. This is like a 50-50 chance here, but they yell at you when you didn't do anything and then they don't apologize for it. Sometimes they do, depending on what it is, but other times they're just like, oh, why are you, why are you getting upset for it? Be because you called me out for something that I didn't do, I had nothing to do with it. I'm like upstairs in my room minding my business and I get called downstairs for something that I had nothing to do with. Like, uh, half the time parents don't like to admit, to admit that when they're wrong. Uh, it's I don't understand why, like we all make mistakes, we're all human. Just because you're a parent doesn't mean that you're right. And if you are a parent, don't expect people to just listen to what you have to say because you can still be wrong. You're only a person. At the end of the day, you're just a human being just like I am and we can both be wrong. This kind of goes back to the first one, but they aren't really listening to you when you're trying to share something that's important to you. So like that could be anything. Like I've come to my parents and like, you know, like a little like hyper tangent or whatever because like I'm excited about something new that's got that going on. And like they kind of just sit there and like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. they don't stop what they're doing. They don't give you eye contact. They're like, oh, I'm listening. And like, okay, but like, Whenever you're talking to me, I have to be looking at you, right? I have to be actively giving you signs that I'm listening, right? <laughs> like, it's a double standard right there. So uh, they like to brush off your issues when they don't matter. So like if I'm talking about like a friendship or whatever that's got like problems going on, it's like it doesn't, like it's not important. It doesn't matter for some reason. And it's really off-putting because it's like... I'm trying to tell you like the issues that are going on in my life and for some reason they don't seem to match up to your priorities or whatever I don't know like okay I, I get it I don't have like real world adult problems but like emotional struggles are still issues you know this is definitely big in black families they like to always be in your business even when you're an adult so turning 18 doesn't really mean anything for us. Parents don't feel the need to be all up in your business and ask where you're going, who you're going with, what exactly you're doing every point of the day. I mean, mine's not as bad as it could be, but it used to be that bad. And even still, it's like, I have my own car, I have my own money. So no, do not tell me who I can and cannot hang out with. Please don't tell me what I can and cannot spend my money on because you didn't earn it. I did that. I earn $600 a week and I will allocate that money as I please. <laughs> They try and tell you what you can and cannot wear. So I get it if it's like majorly inappropriate, you know, like my clean, like my boobs are all out. For me anyway, I don't like having my boobs a lot. I don't like too much skin showing. But it's like the one day I would, would wear like shorter shorts or like a tank top that would have like spaghetti straps or like it's a thing. Or like even I was told that I couldn't wear leggings just because they were tight. Like so are the jeans that I wear, skinny jeans, leg. There's there's really no difference. You can still see the penny line. You can still see like so long as you I can't actually see my private parts. I don't understand. I just I. <laughs> 
parents like to complain about people not helping them around the house but then when people actually step up and help without being asked then all of a sudden it's like oh you did it wrong that's not how you do it here let me show you how if that was the case if you want something done right then do it yourself because at that you, you kind of lost the right to complain about something they try to tell you how to wear your hair when i was younger i was told i couldn't have my hair in braids because they're too mature braids are a protective style you can do them in a way that fits a little girl aesthetic or whatever i don't i don't really get it but or wigs like if i'm doing it to protect my hair at least i'm like at that young age i'm actively thinking about how to take care of my hair i don't understand what the problem is now parents can be major hypocrites this is a wide range of course but like you know they'll tell you not to do something even though they've done it before like i get told to not interrupt people or not, not interrupt them and then when i'm talking to them they interrupt me especially when we're having like a heated argument like you can't have it both ways buddy i'm sorry all you older siblings out there unite with me right now the rules that we've had to go through as being the first born and then we get to watch our younger siblings get away with pretty much everything that we couldn't get away with where are the rules where is the order where where are the whoopings <laughs> when parents are yelling for you right they call your name and you answer right off the bat because you know if you don't answer right away it's a whole thing right why don't they respond after you've answered within a second and all of a sudden it's like they die it's like it's not the thing when you text somebody no when somebody calls you and you miss it because you're like doing something really quick so then you come back like maybe like two minutes later you call them back and all of a sudden they die there are sometimes parents just want to get mad at you just to get mad and or like they'll take out their bad attitude on you but then if you do it the other way and like all of a sudden it's a whole thing they tell you not to complain but then they'll complain about everything 24 7 like you can't tell your parents a joke or a story without them telling you or like giving you a lecture i feel like a lot of parents they tell their kids oh yeah i know you so well but then you really they really don't like you don't you know the, the me that i choose to show you and because of the times that i've tried to open up I get brushed off so you don't know what I how I am by myself or how I am with my friends like parents like to claim that they know all about you and exactly how you think and exactly how you want to go about a certain situation and that's just not the case when you stick up for yourself for some reason it's considered as disrespect because I disagree with you or you're coming for me and I'm a grown adult and I have feelings and I have my own thoughts I'm being disrespectful to you somehow some way that doesn't make any sense and going back to opinions they like to act like you can't have one just because you're their child like now my parents have never said this to me but this whole I brought you into this world I can take you out of it mentality is literal it's literally murder I mean they like to ask you questions as if you have a choice but then get mad when you don't say what they want you to say and it's like again i'm not you your pa parents love to see their kids as them and it's like okay that's great i look like you that's where that's where it stops that's where it stops like you know at the end of the day even with this video i still appreciate my parents i still appreciate the fact that i have both of my parents and they both actively want to help me be happy and successful in my life so like I <laughs>